hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe like my video share my video comment if you're having any question you can put it down on the comment section like i said please subscribe subscribe and subscribe actually today i'm gonna be drafting a shoulder dart bustier for you with those pattern paper so that's what i'm gonna be doing today it's very simple it's the simplest way ever so i've marked out some basic points here like this first line this is the shoulder line i left half an inch if you are using fabric you leave half an inch on top which is going to be your seam allowance then this is chest this is the chest line this is the breast point this is the under bust, and this is the full length and the measurement that i'm going to be using today for this for this shoulder dart bust here the the bust is actually 36 inches the under bust is 32 the waist is 34 while the blouse circumference that's the down part is going to be 40 inches so now i'm going to be showing you how i inserted those lines into this like for beginners so like i said i left half an inch for for the chest line i used eight inches eight inches is like standard measurement it's like standard measurement eight inches for chest line which is the top part of your chest then this is the breast point the breast point her breast point is 11 14 11 14 when we are for people that don't know when we say breast point this is the breast point that is like the nipple point then this place this is the under bust which is 14 so when you measure when you put your tape from up here on your shoulder you measure here 11 then you take it down to the under part so that is what we mean by breast point and the under bust this is the breast point and then this is the under bust then the full length of the the blouse that's it that's just the simple thing so the for this shoulder that i'm gonna be using seven inches that's from the the shoulder line i'm gonna be using seven inches i'll start with seven inches for for this if the person's measurement always reduce the the person's shoulder measurement by two inches always reduce so that will help you to know how to because for this shoulder that you actually take a part of the the shoulder goes into it a, a part of the shoulder doesn't you have a, a, a cut like like um in um, in princess that ample the the shoulder occupies the whole occupies the whole middle part it occupies it but for this the shoulder will take a little part while the side will also take a little part so you understand as i go along so i use seven inches here i use seven inches then for the when i for the chest line you leave that part then for the under bust for the breast point you leave that part also then for the 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 under bust part you use one and a half inches four and a half like this this part also is still four and a half as i just said let leave it you use one and a half also and then for the down part you use one and a half it's like constant so now what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be drawing a line like this like a slanted line down here but it's not going to be doesn't straight very sharp straight no i just take it in there. I'm gonna be doing now take my tape like this from this top point I'll measure two inch this is for the dart why I'm doing this is because the dart I'm gonna be cutting it off that is why I'm doing this so this is two inch then I'll bring it to my chest line I'll measure one inch here then to the breast point line note another one 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 quarter 
Then to the under bust line, I'll measure two inch. All these are this measurement that I just did now. They are like standard measurements. This measurement that I did, you can use them for any size. So the next thing I'm gonna be doing now, like what the next thing I'm gonna be doing now, I'm gonna be connecting these lines like this. I'll connect them like this as I'm coming. When I get to this breast point, my curve should start from here. My curve should be between the chest line because this is the nipple point so that's where the curve the, the curve starts from so the curve should be like this and then like this it will get to this place then i'll bring it to join those points it's simple really simple and easy so just follow and see what i'm doing so the next thing i'm gonna be doing now i'm not gonna be making use of my ruler i'm going to be using my my hand if you have a curve you have your French curve, you can decide to use it. You can decide to use it. So, this is the point where I'm going to be making my curve now. So the next thing I'm gonna be taking it like this and then bring it like this. That's like this. As you can see from the nipple point, like I told you, that's where your arc starts from. So you just take it like this. And then you're coming down like this. This point is really is really crucial. This this the cup that you make here determines how big. There are some people they do like your bust is 40 inches, you make a cup of like 45. And when the cup, if the cup is too big, that bust here will be too big. So that's it. So you just make try and make a moderate curve. This is where you just try and put your artistic skills to work. You can decide to make use of your French curve, but most times I don't make use of French curve, but you can do. That's me. So I'll take it like this and then come down here. I'm bringing it back to this point. So now I can use my ruler. So as you can see, this is it. So, like I told you initially, in breast, uh, in for, for breast cuts, with this middle part, I'm going to be cutting it out. I'm going to be cutting it out. So when I cut out, it's not like regular waist that you just hold your fabric from the inside and then you sew and leave it. No, for breast cuts, you cut it out. So that's the reason for this one inch that I used here, this one, one, one quarter that I used here, and then this two inch that I use for this top part. So now I'll cut it out place on top and then do my full body measurement i just take it like this so this is it now so i'll take this part now to get my full body measurement i'll just take this like this and take like half an inch quarter of an inch here and place it like this Take it like this, this point to quarter of an inch here for this middle point also and then the down, I'll just place it like this. You have to be very careful when doing this. So I'm just going to use my my tape to secure it because I don't want it to move. So I just secure like that. You can use half an inch. So it depends. It will still come out good. So I just secure it like this. And then the down also, you can use half an inch like I said. So now I'm going to be taking out my full measurements. Now like I told you initially, I said 
the shoulder is 16 inches which is 8 this is now now i cannot take my full shoulder measurement this is 8 inches which is 16 then i'll add 2 inches as my allowance or one and a half i can just use one and a half then for the then from this sh shoulder line i'll just take my ruler like this and measure it to and rule to my chest line you know initially i used eight inches i just rule it like this but you see eight inches for my arm hole so i'll just measure it like this eight inches you can make use of nine it depends st i'm still gonna be trimming it so that's it so you use eight inches since this is a draft use eight inches if you are making a draft like this use eight inches then i'll make a curve from this point like this i'll just do my ample curve like this then for the bust measurement i told you initially i said the bust is 36 when you divide 36 into four for beginners why we normally do you find out that you, have, you always fold your fabrics into four so when you divide it into four 36 you have nine inches you take your tape like this and place here this is nine inches you just nine inches and then i use three inches as my allowance you can use three and a half that one it depends on what you want you just place it like this then for the the breast point part that's for the, the, the breast point. I have um sorry, the under bust, the breast point, it will come like this. So that, that one is negligible. You don't have to measure the, the breast point. That's the circumference of the breast point. We already have the bust span here, which is from here to here. That's the bust span. So we already used four and a half for that. So for the under bust measurement. I'm using 32, so when you divide 32 into 4, you have 8 inches. So you just take your tape like this and place like this. This is 8 inches. And then I'll still use my 3, 3 and half inch that I used for the top part. So now I'll connect my lines like this. I'll join this part. Then I'll, before I show you the down part, I'll just take it like this from this, from this shoulder, from this armhole curve like this. And just come like this and when i get to the under bust i'll stop so the next thing i'm gonna be doing now is for the down part of your blouse the down part this matters a lot this is what actually gives it that fit depends on how 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 you want it to balance on your body this is what will give it that fit so most times i normally measure i normally take my tape like this when i'm measuring somebody i normally take it like this and put it at the down part this this Part. you can still use call it the the, the the waist you can call it the, the blouse waist some people call it blouse waist you can call it the circumference of the, the blouse so you just take like this and, and put like this and then you measure so for this actually i'm going to be making use of 40 inches for this one i'll be making use of 40 inches so i'll take it like this 40 when you divide 40 into for you have 10 so i'll put 10 inches like this and then for this part, I'll use 4 inches as my allowance. Like this. So the next thing, I'll just take my, my rule and then connect my line from here to here. So that's it. As you can see, you can see the shape of the blouse. is already out. Like I told you, it's out. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'll cut out the front part and then use it to cut the back. I'll cut it like this so for the neck it depends on the neck you want here I'm just going to be doing a simple round neck that's what I'm going to be doing so for you to do a simple round neck all, all you have to do if you don't want it to be too wide you use 3 inches so you just take your tape like this and measure 3 inches but most times I always like using 3 and a half. so it depends on what you want I'll use 3 inches or 3 and a half, like I told you you just put it like this this is the three inch point and then you take your tape like this 
and then like i normally see in most of my videos you can always measure how deep you want the neck to be so you don't run into problems you can always measure don't just assume just measure measurement is key so here but since this is a draft i'm just going to be making use of five inch for the depth of the neck so i'll take a take my tape like my ruler like this and just remove Then I use my, my French curve like this. If you don't have French curve, like I normally say, you can just make use of your, you can improvise. You can just improvise. And then I'll cut it out like this. After cutting out like this, I'm going to be making my shoulder slants. Shoulder slants, they are always very important when for, for fabrics, for, for dresses. Why we normally do shoulder slant? As you can see, this dress I'm putting on, you can So, for the shoulder slant, you just take your tape like this and come to this armhole line, this point here, and measure one inch. You can use one and a half, you can use two, but two will be too deep. So, you use one inch or one and a half like this. And then you slant it from here, from the beginning part of where your neck measurement, the allowance that, that I used for the top part. You just take it like this and place your, your ruler like this. And then you make a slant like this. You can see it slanted. You just make your slant like this. And then you cut out. You can see your shoulder is not slanted. So I'm going to be using this now, cut the back part of this draft out for you. But before then, let me open it up so you see. So I'll take another piece of my pattern paper. And then I'll use to do the back. So for the back, you just assume this is um, this is actually supposed to be two pieces, but I'm using one piece. So you just assume that this is double. So you take the middle part like this, and then you put it just placed on top like this, and leave one inch allowance at the back. This one inch allowance. Why they normally do this is because of the the zipper. That's why they do it. And then you just place on top like this and then you cut out Follow your shoulder slant So for you to dart the, 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 the back, you can just decide to do your regular dart if you want to. So I'll bring this part out. You can decide to do your regular dart as in that you just do your regular waist dart. But if you don't want to do your regular waist dart for this for this back piece, like what I normally do, you take your 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 scissor, your your ruler like this, and then you measure from this part. Just make a rule like this. You follow the pattern, the line, sorry. You follow this line. When you get to this point, you just bend like this. You slant it to this point. And 
then when you get for this middle part you take your tape like this and then you measure half an inch like this Trim up the half an inch. The reason for trimming up this half an inch is why to fit properly. So that's just the, the reason. So if you don't want to trim it out, you can just hold it and do your regular waist that. So as you can see, like I said, this is the this is the front. And then this is the back like i told you the back i did i made one piece for the back this is the back and then this is the front this is one side of the front and then this is the other side so this is the front so this is the your regular shoulder that bust here so as you can see i've come to the end of this illustration if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe like this video share this video and comment Thank you so much for watching and bye bye.